Android TV mostly does not come with a built-in browser, and that's because mostly people just don't use a browser on their TVs. But even if they do, it's not built for that kind of experience. But there are times where you just want to relax and watch or browse some stuff on your Android TV. Now chances are that you already have a smart TV that's got a built-in browser, like the one that we've got, which is an LG smart TV running a WebOS. But the controls are far from convenient. I'd rather use a third-party web browser like Firefox, Chrome, or even Puffin TV. And how would you know which one you'd want to choose, because you haven't used any of them? Well, I tested the most popular web browsers on Shield TV, and Mi Box, and even the Fire TV Stick. And here are the best of them. Pretty much every Android phone these days come with a built-in Chrome. So it's quite strange that Google didn't bundle the Android TV with a Chrome browser. But nonetheless, you can still sideload the Chrome browser for Android TV. For Mi Box and Shield TV, all you have to do is download the Chrome APK file onto a thumb drive and insert that into the Shield or Mi Box TV. Use the ES File Explorer to access the APK and then install it. Once that's done, Chrome should automatically install itself onto your TV. After that, Chrome browser icon may or may not appear on your home screen, so you need to install a sideload launcher from the Google Play Store to view it. Once you install it, simply go to your home screen, look for the sideload launcher, open it, and then there you go. You just see the Chrome browser there. As there's no dedicated version of Chrome for TV, the interface looks similar to mobile, keep that in mind. You can either use the bookmarks or type in the URL. The good thing about Chrome is you can just sign in and it syncs in all your browsing history. We tried playing videos on Chrome browser and it works fine, but in our testing it doesn't look well optimized to work with the TV remote. Like Chrome, there's no dedicated Android TV version for Firefox. But unlike Chrome, Firefox supports extensions, even on Android TV. For example, you can use the uBlock extension and then get rid of all ads. I often use Firefox browser on my Fire TV stick to browse for YouTube, because Amazon decided to pull out the YouTube app. The Puffin TV browser is not a port of mobile browsers like Chrome or Firefox. Instead, the version of web browser is especially optimized for Android TV, which is why, unlike the other ones, you can simply install Puffin TV from the Play Store. There's no need to go through a complicated sideloading process. Puffin TV browser, which is on the Play Store, gives you a mouse pointer with the remote. You can forward URLs to it from your phone for easy bookmarking. All Android TVs come with a Chromecast built in, so you can easily open any browser on your phone and then cast it to your TV. You can't only cast entire screens, but it can also cast individual videos. For Fire TV Stick and its 4K variant, you can use an app called AirScreen, which lets you mirror your phone onto your Fire TV. Overall, there are plenty of other browsers for your Android TV like Silk or even Opera, but these are the ones that we really liked. And Puffin TV is probably my favorite because it's really optimized for a big screen and the remote. Also, it's not just the big players like say Netflix or Amazon Prime Video who have their own apps for Android TV. Even small players like Haystack TV for news and video and Tubi TV for free movies. So even mainstream and the small players have their battles or for the Android TV apps. Speaking about apps, check out SmartVPN if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like say Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's plenty of those. You can unlock them on your Fire TV stick or even your Nvidia Shield TV. It's about 16 cents a day and it's bugger all and awesome. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one because I did promise that the last time and I said the same thing in the last video. And here you are.